It says some friendships do not last. And that, that's that's a hard fact. You know what I mean? Um, there are some people that come to your life and they handle you. There are some people that come to your life and they, they drag you, bro. Uh, some people are your friends because you have a lack and they try, triumph over that. Mm. You, you understand? And some people are your friends because they want you to depend on them. Mm. Right? Like those kind of people, I think, are there for a season. Those kind of friends. Yeah. Right? And, and then the thing about me is when I love, I love hard. Mm-hmm. So people tend to take advantage of that, right? Even with friendship, right? Because they know if you're somebody that they can depend on, then they abuse that friendship. So I kind of understand where you're coming from, yeah. right? And when you filter those things out, you feel like, you know, I've been by myself the whole time because here I am, I'm a loyal friend to this person. And the whole time, like it's, they were using me for whatever they were lacking. Right, so that that can be hard. I also look at maybe because I said I maybe because I'm looking at friendship as the way I'm a friend to someone. Correct. Like I'm the type of friend. I'm like loyalty to me is number one. Yeah. I am ride or I'm a ride or die loyal friend. We killing somebody, Margie. We gotta hide the body. All right, I got you. We ain't gonna tell nobody. No, we ain't. Yeah. We hide the body. We ain't doing that. That's how I am, and I don't. I don't think. She did it. I don't think I can get that so far. I don't think I can get that same loyalty or the same ride or die from the people that's in my circle now. Mm. Like, I don't like people who pick and choose. Yeah. To me, I don't know. If you're going to be friends, we're going to be friends. Don't pick and choose when you want to. I don't know. I mean, for me personally, you know, you know, that's, that's all I can do. Only speak for me personally. Only you know, can speak from my perspective. That was a point of time, you know, you know, we made a new year, 2024. You know. Praise God. You know, praise God, you know, I'm glad to see another year, and I'm glad to see another year with my friends. Um, but there was a point in time where last year, like the beginning of the year, like, I know I was really that friend where I did use you, you know. I was that friend where it's more so if you weren't really beneficial to me at all, or if I, if you weren't beneficial at the time of that season, you didn't really have that much importance to me. Mm-hmm. Um, but then I figured out, you know, later on, you know, I figured out later on that you you will feel lonely. You know, it's cool. It's cool. Because don't get me wrong. Having that mindset um, where, like, I'm just for me. Or if you if you going to help me grow, you help me grow. You know, like, for example, like, the beginning of the year, last year, 2023, I was trying to work hard on, you know, music. You know, playing keys or production or singing. You know, I was trying to work hard on those things. Whether I was taking gigs or whether I was going to practices in Miami, whatever. I just had, like, I was full on for it. And then... I realized, you know, later on throughout that process, there was some friends that was going away, or not even going away, I was pushing them away, mm-hmm. you know? And I figured out that though it did help because it gave me more time to me, so it gave me more time to practice, it gave me more time to work hard, it gave me more time to grind, you know, and by the grace of God, you know, it, I guess, you know, it worked. I got better. I seen the growth. But I figured out later on I was lonely. There was a time where I didn't want to grind anymore. There was a time when I wanted to just chill. Like, I just wanted to relax. And I found that time only when I was, the only time I relaxed, the only thing I was doing while relaxing was just, like, watching anime, you know, watching a movie. You know, as I can see by my shirt, you know, I'm very big. I'm very big on anime, Promoting man. Promoting anime. Very big on anime. Like, like I, that's, that's me, man. I really love watching anime because, like, throughout that time of, like, that loneliness, the only time I felt like that type of, you know, enjoyment or that satisfaction of just relaxing or just that cool, you know, chill vibe was when I was watching an anime, you know, when I wasn't grinding. So it was just watching anime. But, you know, by the grace of God, God has been able to work in me and to help me see that. And then I realized that we got some, I got some good people around me, man. Yeah. And I got some good people not only like want to help me just grow and make sure that I do grind, mm-hmm. but also want to be there in the process and actually want to see me successful. Sometimes people got that mindset of, oh, it's just a one man team. Like I'm only, I'm, it's like it's me against the world, you know. So that's why people start to push people away or get lonely or whatever like that. But you know, later on you find out there's actually some people that actually want to see you succeed. There's some people that want to see you on that stage. There's some people want to see you rich. You know, there's some people who not they not mind you they're not trying to ask for a handout or nothing. They just want to see you because seeing you grow 
as their friends sometimes brings people's joy, you know? My so, man, like, you just said a mouthful. Yes, sir. The, those type of friends, if you have a friend like that, like, I'm telling you, man, that's Don't, a keeper. Yeah. Right? Because right. the the reality is, it's not everybody that want to see your success. That's true. It's not everybody that want to see your growth. It's not everybody that want to see you grow. You know, like, you never tell a friend that you're about to do something, right? And their excitement is like... It's Zero. Nothing. Bro, like, and, and they're not pushing you. Matter of fact, they're discouraging you. Yeah. Yep. Do you think that's that's what you really want to do? Mm-hmm. You know, do you think, like, they're going to hire you at this job for real? Like, you know, they, they're not going to encourage you. I'm saying, if you're going to tell me the truth, tell me the truth, right? Yeah. Yeah. But tell me the truth to build me, right? Oh, Don't tell me the truth to break me. Yeah. That, that's the thing. The truth hurts. Like, yes. Yeah. But when you're hurting, you can still build. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, I have this saying. This, this, this is what I had to, to do uh, in selecting my friends now. You cannot change the human condition. Mm-hmm. Because sometimes we want people to be who we want them to be. That's true. Right? We want friends to be loyal because we are loyal, like she just said. Yeah. Right? We want them to be there for us because we are there for them. You cannot change the human condition. So I'm gonna I'm gonna allow you to be who you are. And if if who you are can grow me any type of way and I could have the same effect on you, then I let's buy. Yeah. Right? But I'm not gonna forcefully ask you to change who you are for me, because that's gonna be temporary. Right? So I find myself around some great people, man. Yeah. Some great people. It's few. <laughs> it's not a lot. <laughs> if you have a lot of friends, something's wrong. Somebody's <laughs> lying to you. And if you have no friends, something's wrong. Something's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> right. So it's about analyzing yourself, right? Why people don't want to be around me and things like that. But the people I have around me, man, like they, I, I am so grateful for them. Not only that we share the same faith, and some, some are non-Christians too, right? But they are uplifting. You know, they always have, like, I think we were talking about that last week when I go to somebody and I'm telling you I have a problem. You're telling me that I'm, uh, I'll am i be all right. You know what I mean? Like, no, you, you should have something, you know, like that's uplifting, yeah. you know, to tell a friend. Um, we That support is really needed. It's needed. I feel like, you know, having friends is just, it's even for your own good. You know, if all you think is about is for the benefits of yourself, all right, then have friends. You know, have a friend. You know, not only just so they can be there when you're down, but it's more so for your own good, for your own protection. Yeah. You know, it's good to have people around. You know, when uh, when Jesus was sending out, was trying to send out the disciples to go heal, he gave them power to go heal. You know, cast out demons, all that, you know, all that stuff. He sent them in pairs. Yeah. You know, because one person can. Don't get me wrong. That one person probably could have done it too by himself, but yeah, they probably wouldn't have succeeded. As great as they did, if he didn't have, if one person didn't go with another. No, nah, the I'm, book of Ecclesiastes speaks about that, right? Say that. Ecclesiastes says it's better. I mean, two it's is better, better than one, one. Yeah. right? Like God already knew how we're designed, man. Adam, Adam couldn't be by himself. He tried. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? He tried. Right? The animals were in pair, and this man was lonely, even though he had all these things around him. Like this man was walking in the garden with God, and he still felt like there's something missing and God gave him Eve, yeah. you know, and what? Oh, nothing. Bro, the way she jumped, you know, <laughs> smash up my flesh, bone on my bone, <laughs> God gave him Eve, you heard me. <laughs> no, I was going to ask the question because you said that, right. you know, like when, you, when you're married, right? Yeah. Okay, let's say before you got married, you had a best friend. Okay. Once, I did. Okay. So <laughs> once you once you be once you marry your wife, is it a bad thing to have outsiders as best friends or your wife has to solely be your best friend? What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, look. I I'm all for your wife has to be your friend. Right? Your significant other, right? Your boyfriend or your fiance. They have to be your friend because be friendship is it's 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 this comforting you know part of a relationship, right? The supporting part of a relationship. So every relationship needs it, but not necessarily your wife have to be your best friend, 
And that that's not and not even uh, your uh, only uh, best friend. Yeah, it best friend. Right. I agree that. It it doesn't have to be. And we don't have to share the same best friends. Like I can have a best friend now. See, I know where you're going with this. <laughs> let's right? let's that one another now, episode. Know, we might, we might. Let's but let me one. No, let's address it now. Okay? Now if you are there, you're married, and you have a guy as a best friend, and that guy is not a friend of your husband or anything like that. That's a hard no. That's a hard no. Like, no, like, no, no. We're not doing that. We, 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 can, we can discuss that in the next episode. We, we can. But <laughs> so I'll just like, close it, though. I see. Yes, no, I see. we can't do but that. I, I that wanted, can create friction in the I bed. wanted to go back to the friendship because when everybody was talking and I, I've been thinking about that, I'm like, is there a recipe to friendship? You know, like, what is the main important thing? Because all of us can say loyalty, everybody can say, um, you, you know, trust, everything, you know what I mean? But for me, when I think about friendship, I think about communication. Yeah. Because when I say communication, it's a big key in friendship. Because if you don't communicate, how would you know if, how would I know if what I'm doing is wrong? In my head, probably the best thing I'm doing. And how would I know how you feel about certain things if we're not communicating with each other? To help the friendship grow, because I feel like at times we let go of friendship because there's no communication. I'll go further for you. Communication is one thing. Vulnerability is deeper. The way that you create strong friendship is vulnerability, right? So <clears throat> I'm somebody that can make friends easily because. Um, <laughs> I, I've been known to be called a social butterfly. <laughs> I've learned to embrace it. The thing is, I'm easy with people, like people, period. Like I don't care race, color, it don't matter to me, yeah. right? So I, I'm a conversationalist. I hope I got that word right. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah. So, but in conversation, you have to be able to be vulnerable. Because people are attracted to what they can find common ground with, right? If Caleb is going through some hardship, I'm sorry, man, Sea Breezy. Oh, that's the name. That's the name. some respect on your name. Fritz. I go by many. If he's going through a hardship and we're able to share that connection, then we're going to be connected on that level. Like where we take that friendship is going to be up to how much we want to share with each other. I'm gonna say, but that having something in common will make you friends. Though. No, I mean, but no, that I, vulnerability though, it can take something like, in common. I feel like, I feel like in all aspects, the main thing is trust. I feel like in order to communicate, I gotta trust you, or in order yeah. to mm-hmm. be vulnerable, I gotta trust you. That's why, like, if you really think about it, the greatest friend that you will have is Jesus. Why? Because he knows those vulnerable moments that you don't want to tell nobody, or that you're not comfortable with speaking about. Yeah. What makes him such a good God and so much of a good friend? Is because he knows these things. And not only does he know it, but he still loves you because of that. There's a lot of people, it's hard for them to communicate. It's hard for them to be vulnerable. Because some people out here ain't trustworthy. You know? I, I get it, though. But Jesus turned around and told us that, you know, love your neighbor. Because how can you love God that you do not see when you don't like the person that, you know, you can see with your eyes? True. But you can't be somebody. You can't be somebody. You, you can't be somebody that somebody should love if you ain't trust. Nah, like... Like it's it's hard for me to try to resemble God and resemble His Word and resemble the things that He tells me to do if I ain't giving nobody a reason to do it. You know, like God can tell me to love my neighbor. Like he, somebody, God can tell you know you guys to love your neighbors as much as you love yourself or whatever like that. But at the end of the day, it's like y'all not y'all not trustworthy. Y'all not y'all not somebody I can speak to. So it's like how can somebody who's probably not a Christian could just be like, yeah, I love you though. Or I, I I trust you. I could maybe I could try to find figure out who Jesus is. If you're not trying to be that person, if you're not trying to be as as, as a Christian, somebody that's trustworthy, somebody that's easy to rely on, somebody who's who's um who's able to not judge. Because sometimes again, this first you could go to a lot of things. You know, you know, there's a lot of people who don't want to talk or be vulnerable because people won't judge. You know, I so it. it's like in order for you to be that great friend that the Bible talks about, in order to be that that great person to communicate about you gotta be you gotta be it you gotta yeah. be it you know i see where you're coming from it, 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 it makes perfect sense 
I yeah, was, trust, trust has a lot Yeah, to I was going to say something about I was going to ask then if you want to have a good friendship, you need to yourself, you know, yeah. like work with yourself first to so make sure you can be that friend for that mm-hmm. person. Because, you know, I have like, a, like I said, throughout the years, I had different friendship with people. Like I said, people stay, people go, but I also have great friendship where it's like we've been working every day. Mm-hmm. And the work is, if I go back and I'm like, when I remnants, I'm like, oh my God, like it was like, you know, easy stuff that we could fix. We sit yeah. down, we talk, we be yourself. Like you said, you know, we sit down, we're like, you know, listen, this is what I think. I, I do this thing called reflection with some of my friends. We sit down, we reflect. I'm like, listen, I think you did this to me. I didn't like it. What did I do to you that you did not like it? I put my son like, tell me something I've been doing that's bad. Tell me something that I did that you know you didn't like. Tell me something that I can work on so that we can go. So I put myself in a position of me working because sometimes we always want to trade a victim. Yeah. And we don't focus on other people because, like I said, our friend is dealing with other things we don't know, but we so focus on ourselves of like, oh my God, I need my friend to be here for me 24 7. But are you here for them 24 7 too? Mm-hmm. We just want to receive and we're not giving. You gotta be about it if you want it, man. It, it has to be a two way street. It has to. It, it has to be. But you never trusted somebody, and the betrayal hurts so much, man. Because you you knew that person was your friend. You knew that you know you you, you trusted them with information that you wouldn't otherwise trust anybody else. Yeah. And they they turn around and stab it's you, stab you right? So it has to be a two way street. If I'm gonna be vulnerable with you, you have to be vulnerable with me. If I'm gonna trust you, you have to trust me. Um, that's why friendship works, right? And Jesus Christ had friends. Yeah, he had friends. I, I believe Peter was one of those friends, one of his friends, right? And Jesus was not scared to tell Peter the truth. Yeah, right. And Peter, even though he he couldn't protect Jesus. <laughs> But he tried, right? <laughs> right? He said, I'm going to go. If you're going to go down, I'm going down with you. Bro, Even though he knew he would not succeed, but he tried. Like, I want a friend like Peter. You know, I want a friend. Like, I can't say a friend like Jesus because ain't, ain't none of my friends. <laughs> no, ain't nobody like Jesus. <laughs> ain't none of my friends going to be Jesus. You know what I mean? But then there's another story in the Bible, David and Jonathan. Oh, man, that's deep. That, that, that's deep. Friendship. That's deep. That's deep. Their friendship, because because when you think about David gonna come and stole something from him, basically, because you know I think he was heir to the throne, because his he dad was, was the king. Correct, correct. So that mean that would have been him after his dad. It, it would have been. It would have like, been. The sacrifice. I mean, it just made me think of the sacrifice that our friends do for us. That sometimes we don't know about, and some stuff that we see is it's very big when somebody says friendship. I think the power of friendship goes deeper than just trust. The power of friendship goes deeper than just somebody's going to be here for you. Because that's somebody that's going to stand with you to a hard time and to good time. So I always go back to, you know, to that story because that story is very deep. It, it is, man. When you read that story, like you're talking about Saul wanting to kill David. Um, and as soon as, you know, the son hears that, he runs to David and says, hey, my dad want to kill you. You need to stay away. Bro, he warned him. And you know that he went to battle with his dad and eventually died with the dad. Mm. But he warned David. Yep. Bro, like that, that that's a friend. That, that's why the Bible says some friendships do not last, but some friends are more loyal than a brother. Right? It's it's a deep connection. Um, To kind of like shift a bit, you know, to a little bit on that verse, you know, uh, sometimes a friend are more loyal than a brother. I start to think of maybe there's some friends that would treat you better than how your, your, brothers, um, do. your brothers do, your sisters do, you know, your parents do. So that can mean like, you know, all the nice things, you know, meaning like how they handle your fears, you know, how they handle, you know, your, your emotions and all that, you know, all that stuff. But it can also go into how would they handle when you mess up, you know? Like, That's true. Though, though we understand, yeah, not everybody is able to, you know, to be trustworthy, 100% trustworthy all the time. Because sometimes people can give them doubts. But um, I feel like, you know, like I, like trust trust is one thing, but also grace is another, mm-hmm. you know. I feel like that's big thing. That's big thing on friendships. Like, like though you are my friend and I do trust you, like, I really do trust you. But there's just something, there's, you did this to me, you know, like you... You and it hurts or whatever like that. So holding back. You start holding, yes. yeah, and start using that. So is that for you having this doubt in the back of your mind? 
I don't think that's, that's true. Not that's not healthy. That's not healthy. That's not food. No, food. I'm saying I'm not. I'm saying I'm saying it's because um, uh, it's like giving them grace in a way. I, I get because the grace part, bro, but. Now I'm gonna fool me once. <laughs> exactly. No, I'm you sorry, got one bro. time to show I, me who you are. Me once. I understand that. I do understand that. But maybe, like I said, I can only speak for you know me. Um, there's been a lot of times. Yeah, I I could give people you know, you know, uh, you yeah, fool me once, type jump. But at the same time, the way that I can make you feel that, well, the way that you can make me feel that, oh, bro, like that that was messed up. Is the same way I could probably make you feel that way too. But it's one and more than one time though. I'm human. There's times I could let you down, or there's times I could, you know, or do something that you probably didn't like more than once, you know, more than one time. But now it's like what makes friendship so much greater is how do we get back up from that? How do we move on from that? How do I make sure? How are you giving me that 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 security that you're not gonna do that again? And how am I giving you that security that I won't do that again? There's no guarantees you know? though, bro. But if we but if we talk about like friendships, then that's one main thing that's gonna happen because as humans we mess up like on a daily basis. So it's like <laughs> it's betrayal. Um, like so in that um, I I have siblings, right? Uh, brothers and sisters. Uh, I have a particular little little sister that I was close to growing up, mm-hmm. right? And as we grow, as we grew, uh, we we got distant a little bit, yeah, right, because of certain things that happen within our family dynamic. Um, and I missed her during those years, right? So right now, like, I, like it's such a joy that I get to talk to her. Right, I get to be that person for her, and she gets to be that person for me again. Mm-hmm. You know, so there I could apply what you said, and it, it took it took time to forgive. It took time to um, uh, reconcile. It took time to uh, mend. You know, the the what was broken, right? So in that sense, some people are worth it. Yeah. So true. you need to evaluate who who's worth you breaking. Right, that barrier, you know, for right, my sister is worth that. Yeah. Right. I, I could honestly say that. And I have some friends that are worth that as well. Yeah. But bro, not everybody is that's worth that's you true. breaking that barrier, man. Because some people are there to just take advantage of you. That's true. Right. And the fact that they can get something from you. Right. And once they do that, they done. I think it was Medea. Not not that I wanted to re- reference Medea on here. But I, I believe it was Medea, you know, <laughs> that, 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 that broke down friendship as a tree and it made perfect sense. The, 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 like the illustration is good, right? There's some friends that are roots, right? So those are not going nowhere, right? They, they, they just need water and they're going to do their thing. Mm-hmm. And there's some friends that are branches. They last longer, but they don't stay forever. Yeah. Right. And then there's the leaps. Those come, come and go change. to like this. <laughs> <laughs> and it change, right? And it's any gust of wind. Right. Those are seasonal friends. I do have seasonal friends, right? And then you have the branches. You just need to know when to cut off a branch. Yeah. Because it could spoil the whole tree. Yeah. I was just, just trying to like get into like, you know, like it's one thing trying to speak on a perspective, you know, of us having friendships, but you know, how people deal with us being, you know, their, their friends. friends, you know. Trying to get into that perspective, you know, because it's one thing. It's easy to talk, you know, about, you know, how people do to us and what they do to us, you know, how we feel and how we react to it. But it's like how other people react, you know, to to, to us, to me, you know. Yeah. That, that's that's, that's tough. To get to it, yeah. That, that's tough. <laughs> I, I, and friendships, one thing is is being is being you know attentive, you know, not to everything that's around you, but things that are in you, you know. And that's also a big thing about Christianity, too, you know. Yeah, there's spirits out here, you know, coming, there's enemies around you, stuff like that. But sometimes you could be an enemy to yourself, you know. That's true. Okay. So, no. yeah, I'm just trying to get into that perspective. Of, like, are we a, are we a good friend? Yeah, are we a good people? friend? To others. And that, that's a tough question. It is. It you know, is. because <laughs> how, how can we answer that for ourselves, oh, right? Can I just without it? having, <laughs> no, without having, you know, self-evaluation. You, are, you want me to answer that question? <laughs> no, no. Here's a question. I'm a good friend. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yeah, do it like that. Wait. Wait. We're we going to commercial break. No. Oh no. no. We have to do it like that. Nope. On the podcast, yo. The 
thousands no, of people watching this. That's great. You, you are a good friend, Caleb. Well, let, let me tell you this. I think my wife tell me this all the time. And sometimes I'm gullible for things like this. Um, I'm there for people. Yeah. I, I am. And it doesn't take anything away from my character. It doesn't take away anything away from me. Right? Um, I think my wife call it, you know, people taking advantage of you. I don't see it that way. Because you take advantage of people when they don't, they're not aware of what you are doing. <laughs> right? I choose to do it for you. Right? And that's why I'll do it once. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? I, I'm going to do it for you, but I'll do it once. Yeah. Now, if you think this is going to be something that's repetitive, then I'm going to cut you off. You know what I mean? Um, like helping out people. Right? You never have that friend like, bruh, every time we go out, I got to pay. Like, like you never, you, you never have money, you bro. You, you, you <laughs> such a kid. Like, you know that person. Like, you never have money, bro. When, when is gonna be your turn to say, nah, bro? I got it, bro. When, when is that coming? You know what I mean? Ooh, you never. Me right oh wow. Uh, you, you never have. And you never have that friend where you always remember their birthdays, but yours is like, you know. <laughs> That's me. I'm, oh, I'm petty when it comes to my birthday. When it comes to my birthday, I am petty. You're not that petty because you let us know like, you like know, two, two months, day, exactly. two months ahead of time. That's why I'm gonna pay by the year. I give you a no. six month advance. <laughs> you gonna have a list. You know. I tell people off when it comes to my birthday. Give list. That's yep. me. But it's important though, you know, like birthdays, like small things like this, like you know, to, to acknowledge somebody's birthday is a big deal. And when a friend, like you never be watching your phone, like I'm gonna see if this man's gonna take it. It's gonna take you. <laughs> dude, dude, gonna ta- you really? got till nine fifty five. Like I, no, but, I only do that because when it's my friend's birthday, I look at it as my birthday too. Like I like to celebrate my friends. You lit. I love to celebrate. Yo, I'm your birthday. Still waiting on the All right, it's my 20s. birthday. It's the month twenty. It's my birthday. It's fine. You have a queen sweetheart. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you know, you know the birthday thing when you talk about it, like I'm very different. Yeah. I have people. I have friends that forget about my best birthday, and I was there for them. Boom. All the time. Ivanya. Yeah. That's classic. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Like that birthday is a big deal, bro. Like when friends forget your birthday, bro. Like it's 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 tough. It is. Unless we're gonna call each other acquaintances. Like if I'm an acquaintance of you, acquaintance of you, like you don't you don't remember my birthday, you don't remember my birthday, right? It's fine. But if I'm gonna call you a friend, bro, like there's certain things about me you just need to know. That's true. I'm going to stop planning my birthday in January. We know. <laughs> Crazy. No, we know. The whole world knows. You got to know. I want you to forget. Celebrate me. Hello, I celebrate you. You're right. You're right. Yeah. She she got me a gift card. But she gave me Alexander McCool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she, she, you are here giving Alexander McCool. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> Only exclusive <laughs> to those. <though. laughs> and I'm still waiting on the ones. Like, that's messed up, bro. You got to say to me if you have people know the channels. Figure out my pockets. No, 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 no. I gotta let them know, family. You a good friend. I mean, we'll, 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 edit, we'll, we'll edit this part out. <laughs> <laughs> we'll edit. But you know, to go back to the question, I think everybody should do that. You should ask yourself, like, are you a good friend to your surroundings? Yeah. Because you know that that was a that was a, a good thing that I killed up because I was thinking about, but I'm like, am I a good friend to? And you started questioning yourself. Huh? I started questioning. Oh no, that questioning everything. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I am the best. <laughs> But I think I'm a good friend. I'm a little shaky. <laughs> you probably put some towel wear here. You see? It's just other people where you have. That's one shaky. <laughs> uh. But I'm saying this because I go back to I'm not perfect, but I, I'm trying. If I see Nobody you trying. Is, man. Nobody trying, is, man. Nobody is. But the thing is, if you're trying, that if you see a friend way. trying to be there for you, like, yes, I know I messed up, but I'm going to keep going, that's a friend. Yeah. Cause sometimes you have friends that just give up. Mm-hmm. You're like, no, I'm done. I don't think I want to do this anymore. That's me. I'm I'm a give up friend. <laughs> it takes a what? it takes a while for me to do that, but when I do, bro, it's scary. It That's do. me. That's it's scary. Me. I have bro. a don't care attitude. Once I don't care, ooh, I don't come back. <laughs> I, 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 I don't come back. You come there every <laughs> like <laughs> no, I, it, it's a bad thing, bro. Like, is it a bad thing? I that's a think serious it, question. Uh, well, I mean, because that's me. I get to that point for a reason, right? Like, there had to be something that happened for me to get to that point. I think I, I, I did that, right? 
I did that. I did that a couple of years ago. You know, and you never been around a person like nothing you do is right for them, but it's a friend. <laughs> no, because like we're not vibing. Because like it's not, it's not, we're not, we're not doing this, bro. I'm gonna break free from this, from this hell. Like, what you mean, bro? Like, no. Nah. And then you start, you start, you know, thinking to yourself, like, am I, am I like this? Yeah, you know, like it's one thing for me to, you know, evaluate myself and say, you know, what can I do better? But no, it's another thing when. Everything about you is just negative, dog. Like, I can't do it, dog. So I'm going to break free from that. That's a I toxic mean, environment. Some people could ask themselves that question and then figure out the only reason why they're still going is because they both, in a way, though that same person could make you mad, you probably can make that person mad. So both of y'all are toxic people. That's why sometimes yeah, you see a lot of people, like, you, like, some people, you would actually have to think to yourself, like, how do we become friends? You know, how, why are we still friends? When you do this, when you act like this, act like that, and then you come to a point where you gotta ask yourself, Do you like that toxic environment? Do I like that or am I that? Or does it feed that, you know? You know, somebody can be like, Well, I don't wanna be toxic, I don't wanna be toxic. But at the end of the day, like, you are toxic. You know, yeah, you are. And then you being, you being around that, or that or around that environment just fuels that up. You know, you get in charge with that toxic and you don't even know it. So now every time when you're around people, the way you can tell somebody, Well, I don't want toxic friends. Somebody else is probably looking at you like, you bro, you're that toxic you know friend to me. Like, you know what that's doing? Yeah. Man, that's true, bro. That that makes sense. sense. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to also like, comment, subscribe, and follow us on all social media platforms. And press that notification bell so you're notified when we post a new video. And yeah, man, don't forget to tap, the tap, the tap, tap. Tap in. Yes, sir.